ready to work with new equipment, folks. This is what you do. If you're going to make candy, you should have one dedicated pan for uh, candy. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, because what happens is a lot of pans today actually, you know how I know that? Because my, well, I would make, we were making candy with my mother and we would, we would go to get the, uh, the non-slip pans out and then the candy would get hard inside and you'd have to scrape the candy oh, off. Scrape it off. And it ruined the non-slip pans. Uh, so as my mother said, well, we, we've got some pans dedicated for candy now. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> they were like a, a back, we're talking 60 years ago, like they were a $300 set of Boston pans 60 years ago. And we ruined them one, one day making a divinity. Oh, that was an expensive. Set. Well, we didn't know that you couldn't do that with non-stick pans because you're used to using a pan and scraping it. Mm -hmm. See? No, it's stainless. You can scratch it as much as you want. Yeah, and it's overly expensive too, folks. What? And then we did get. We got a thermometer, which is also overly expensive, but it has. Okay, well, because what were what? You know what I didn't realize when you're looking for thermometers, right? That a lot of them were for meat, so they only go to like 220 degrees. Yeah. And, and so a, you need a candy thermometer, which goes higher. We did. Uh, that's still that was the cheapest cheapest candy thermometer we could get. And we did have to go to Walmart to get a pan with a lid and a candy thermometer because the candy thermometer at, at where else we went was four dollars higher, which I knew was totally out of sequence. But I mean, I, I had a candy thermometer. I used it for making. I would use it when I wasn't doing candy <laughs> to do yeah. my photochemicals with. It was bad. My mother would have found out she would have basically... She would have been mad because she was using food stuff or non-food. I know, but the meat stuff didn't go high enough for the photochemicals when you uh -huh. mixed them. And she knew. So I used a candy thermometer. I was bad. Do you need to say the directions on the, on the thermometer? Uh, because all we got, it's a screw thing on the side. All we got to do is unscrew it and put the bulb in. So don't, whatever you do with your candy stuff, keep your candy stuff away from the rest of it for the simple reason. People will they'll mess up your candy thermometer and they'll mess up your sauce dish so but what are we getting ready to do today oh uh, yes she, uh, by the way she intended to cut her swimsuit off for everybody to see is what she's talking about yeah mm. no no actually what, you, what am i doing though you're making honey honey oh. pops today more or less hold on okay hold on we also got to get our menthol Thing out. Or is it oh, setting? that's right. We do. I know we got lots it's of work. Set up I know. Well, we've not. This is something I haven't done for since I was a kid. So that's one unique thing with the. the I saved the drops in a safe space. Uh oh. No, no, no. Hold on a minute. Hello. Good morning. This is not a spring chicken. Oh boy. I'm, we're going to show you how to make something today that we have been looking forward to. We actually did go out and buy ingredients specifically for this. And what we're making today are honey drops. And you're going, why would you make something like that? Well, see, part of it is, is I was having, let's just say, some throat issues. And I was looking for cough drops. We happened to find a company that had honey cough drops, but they were actually made with real honey, which they are no longer manufacturing, unfortunately. So, which is funny, the company exists, they're not manufacturing anything. I know, which is really kind of a bummer. So, we decided to make the honey drops because of two reasons. One is because sometimes you do have throat issues, but also because I do need to have sugar throughout the day. So, we're going to make honey drops. So, like anytime if I'm talking a lot or I'm out of places or late, you know, then I can just take a honey drop. It doesn't sound like, you know, smell like cough drops, and I do get the sugar in that I need. And also, I get, you know, I think something like this is good for people that actually end up talking a lot. Because, I mean, right? Yeah. 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 You're good, uh-huh. Yeah. We're getting everything ready. But we, he said oh. we should grease the pan that this is going to be put into. We're greasing it? Yeah. With, um, <coughs> it, it what says, are we greasing uh, it with? Basically, don't skip on the greasing or if you have a permanent cough drop coat of surface. If you don't have a flexible non-stick mat like a... Well, it will help to release. We have a per, we have a non-strict slip mat, which is basically we shouldn't have to do that, but it should not stick fine. to that. So we yeah. should be fine because we're not actually going to make drops. We're going to cook.
coat the bottom with it. So. Yeah, and so we use this is what it's like a silicon. Yeah, we used for it babies. for cooking out of. We used it for putting candy in before, so. Yeah. It's just simple enough. God awful simple enough. Recipe. Well, you know, part of it is is we, we went and got all these special things for it. We got menthol broths because we wanted just a little bit of menthol because we looked at the ingredients, like how much percentage of it was menthol and just to taste. But um. Of course, we cannot find the menthol broths. I put them in a really safe spot. So you can't find it now? Yeah, I have not. So. Um, so what we did is we have one cough drop. <laughs> <laughs> one cough drop, which is going to go into half a, half a cup full of honey. Oh, that's right. We, we did get a huge thing of honey. We got that, you know, but we have something that basically is, uh, which we didn't realize, we weren't paying attention, it has a due date, has a best buy date well, on it. Well, you know, I never really thought about it because you know, people have jars of honey, right? These have this has no expiration date on it. I haven't been able to find one on it. This one does. This is like the you know what I mean? It's sort of getting it. solid, so we're gonna use this one. See how solid that is? Okay, we gotta use what you got before. Okay. Uh, you can use your spoon that we got out. The, the, oh this one? Yeah. I yeah, that would be good. Don't don't use metal stuff in anything if you can avoid it. Use wooden Spatula, not plastic. Into this? Huh? Oh, well, honey, you just heat it up anyway and it melts you off. You just melt it off. You just put it in hot water. You just want to use them. Um, and anyway, this there's, one's a, bamboo. there's a secondary way of doing it. Today, you can basically go spray um, um, uh, oil, green, you know, spray Pam or something on it. It would fix it too. So, but also, this is this is really. I know. Is that solid, honey? Yeah. So I know. Oh. Actually, just put the whole thing in it. Is my hair? <laughs> yeah, I just, just did. I, even, I wouldn't even use the, the half thing right now because we don't have much more than a half there to begin with. So. Oh, that's true. Okay, so we're just putting it in here? Yeah, I'll just put it in because it, I looked at it when you held it up to the half a cup, so just empty that all out. Okay. But you see why you want to use a spatula, not a spoon. Gosh, so, look at that. Yeah. I mean, it's good stuff, folks. This is really good, but we didn't realize there was a, a use-by date until we went to the store looking for new stuff. I know. <laughs> and then saw there was a use-by date on it. This is where you get the good stuff. I know. And then if you want to use any, if you want to get what's left in the thing, just go put it in a, in a thing of hot water and it will melt the honey that's left in there on the sides down. So you don't lose any of it, but right now what we're gonna do. Yeah. Now it's just all ready. Well, that's simple stuff. Now we just got Is that it? That's... Oh do we put the cough drop in there? Yeah. You put your cough drop oh, in. Drop. Probably should bust it, it's gonna melt anyway, so. Oh, um, we're just gonna boil it, so that's true. I put it in there beforehand. Somebody's that's gotta bring simple. it up to a very simple now. It is um, you put it on low heat. And uh, stir it constantly, and then you bring it to a boil. That's a really toughy, folks. Are you serious? That's it? That's right. When it's boiling, continue stirring until the temperature reaches of a 300 to 310 degrees. And, and it, money, it will. They said if it starts to melt, you you're, you're, uh, need to uh, get it off. This is all we're doing is melting the honey and then putting it in there? Yeah. Oh, that's why we're making the honey drops. Huh? Yeah, you're making honey drops. What happens is, is that once it's been... Um, once it's been cooked, it's been like they call clarifying it. Once you've clarified it, it changes its texture. That's why if you want, uh, Grand Kerr would basically, when he was cooking, would tell you to, he would, after he got through with his overly rich stage, clarified all his butter because it made the butter better to cook with and not as rich. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at that. If that's all we're doing is melting and we're putting it in the other thing, it's not so important measuring at all. No. Not that much, it's just that, uh, that's why I was looking at it, I figured, I eyeballed it and it looked about right. But I think the half a cup is because of the fact that honey really good, this has really got awful expensive honey over there, folks. So. I can tell because of the container it came in. Yeah, it's very expensive This one honey. says, what is it, wildflower honey? And the other honey isn't any cheaper. That's a, that's a good quality honey that we picked over there, so. But there's it, no bear on it. I know there's no bear, but it, it's not a it's not something that's overly difficult. And I said don't put it in the free refrigerator to solidify, folks, oh. because it will ruin it. 
really. Yeah. I've never had it because it makes it really solid fast, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, you got to stir it until it comes to a boil. When it comes to a boil, then put your thermometer in. If it's 300 or 310, it looks all right, but you're still going to have to do the old ball test. You're going to put it in some cold water and see if it Oh, boils. so is that what the water is That's for? what the water's for. Oh, Basically, okay. you check the right, you drop a few drops of the cooked honey into a cup of ice water, uh, let it get cold and fill the drops. It'll feel like hard candy. If the honey's still soft, basically, continue to heat. See? That's the whole trick. It, it's just, it's the same, it's a candy maker's thing. No, candy makers don't trust thermometers. But they do trust balling candy. Well, then you almost didn't even need a thermometer. No, but the thermometer is there because uh, a lot of people don't trust the balls. A person that doesn't do candy doesn't trust, because remember, I, I would get the stuff when we were making fudge and you wouldn't, so. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so. Move it over. Oh, there's a good reason why we're using. I'm sitting here watching this stuff. Is we're using this pan, and part of it where it got up higher on the on the pan looks like it's burned. Uh oh. Like, no, on the side of the pan, it's oh. like it went up high, and then that part burned because yeah. there's no honey on there. Yeah. Okay. No. It basically will. It will. Why? It's why you should use it's a boiling pan. right now. Yeah. As long as you don't scorch it or burn it, you can sit there and reheat it. So it's going up. It's two nine, two fifteen, two twenty two, two twenty four, two twenty seven. Then you're gonna have to just do it some more. No, it's still going up. Yeah. Then yeah, you can take that thing out and just stir it some more. I know. <laughs> I, <never laughs> I know. <laughs> See, I'm just like you. I've never done this before. I know, it's the first time. I haven't done it. How high is it supposed to go? It's 245. 300 to 310. At 245, you're nowhere near it, so. It's at 250. Yeah. You, just it's, it's, you know what it looks like? It's like when you get soda pop and yeah. it's foaming. That's what it looks like right Yeah, now. but that's it. You just got to keep stirring it if you keep stirring it. Yeah, you know, um, basically continue stirring until the honey reaches the temperature of 300 to 310. Remember, it burns very quickly, folks. So you just, um, okay. 